Sunday morning. Welcome back everybody to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. And today I'm actually continuing my series on how to live a happy and joyful life through gratitude journaling. And I'm really excited for this next part. It's a super important part. And I really hope you all got your heart journal. I call it the heart journal because it's a journal, a book, something that you love, that you want to pick up, you want to touch and you want to write in it and anyways it feels good to you today's topic is going to be i am affirmations all right so that we can reprogram some of those negative voices that haunt us all the time they're so automatic that we don't even know that we're saying these things to ourselves so basically we have to figure out how to create new and better thoughts about ourselves. But first, I wanted to talk about something that I think is very important. One of my clients uh, messaged me after a session we had and mentioned that she forgot that I am human as well because of something that I said. So recently, um, I was kind of on a really good track with logging all my food and finally starting to get a handle of really getting organized with my food um, and then I had a little glitch I hurt my knee sitting in my recliner which is pretty pathetic but yeah anyways so it really has taken me out of exercising I can't train my legs I'm still recovering from arthritis in the shoulder so I can't overtrain that either so at this point I, I'm a little limited in what I can do, right? So it kind of totally threw me off track with my food. It threw me off track with my exercise. And I said to her, I just, I'm so worried. You know, I don't want to gain weight. I don't want to get out of shape. I don't want to lose my traction that I've had. And she was like, wow, she's human. You know, she's just like we are. And so, yes, I wanted to say that. I am just like all of you guys. This is my profession, so I better be better at it than you guys, right? The only difference is I've had more time learning about this, practicing the right things to do, so that's the only reason why I may be a little bit further ahead than some of you. But that's the only reason I'm still a human that struggles with the same mental blocks, the same you know ailments, all the stuff that you guys have to deal with, life, family, work, you know, financial issues, like all that stuff is still on me. Oh, politics, Lord. Let me tell you how that has been, I feel like for a lot of people, a huge burden in the recent months. Uh, the pandemic, right? I'm dealing with all those things as well. So these strategies through gratitude journaling just help you get a better handle on your life, all right? So that's why I find it so important. And guess what? I fall off the wagon. And one of my issues is that I don't do it on the weekends. I actually did it this morning. So I just, I've been laying in bed every day going, okay, what can I do to get back on track? What can I do to get back on track? I really need to, I feel, I don't feel like I'm where I want to be, right? So what can I do? One of my dilemmas I realize, and it keeps going off in my head, is that on weekends, I tend to slack big time. I tend to go to bed way too late, like 11 or 12. For me, that is not good because my body rhythm is completely out of whack with that from during the week. Um, and I tend to watch movies at night that are, you know, movies have a lot of negative programming that we don't even realize. So I'm watching hours of movies that are programming things into my brain that I really don't want there. Um, and so it's really important for me to focus on changing those habits, you know, and make small changes. For example, my goal is going to be to watch one movie instead of two and watch it earlier and then have some downtime before I go to bed, kind of cleanse my brain a little bit and then go to bed much earlier, like nine or even 9.30, okay? That way I can wake up the next morning, feel good, get a full eight hours of sleep, feel rested and actually get some stuff done, right? 
and feel good. Like feeling good is the most important thing. So this next step, when, what happens to me when I get out of my rhythm like this, I lose confidence in myself, you know, and the negative voices start to um, talk more, right? And I, don't, I feel like I'm failing. I feel like I'm not doing enough. And so that's why it's so important for me to use my journal and continue to reprogram. So I am affirmations. Basically, we say a lot of negative I am statements in our heads. Like, I'm so fat and lazy, or I'm a horrible eater, I'm this, I am that. And we say these things over and over. This is the key. Think about who you want to be, right? And at first, you may not be able, so if you're trying to, let's just say, you're trying to be healthy and fit and lose weight and all that, you can't just write down, I am skinny and fit, right? Because it doesn't feel right inside because right now that is not your reality. So what would be a modified uh, version of that? And when I say modified, I mean a little bit regressed, but like you're getting there, right? So I am working on my health and fitness every day. I am becoming more and more successful with eating healthy, feeling good, and losing weight. I am losing weight every single day. I am exercising and eating healthy to improve my health and fitness. Those are some good statements to start with, right? If um, you are not feeling happy, if you are feeling depression, if you're feeling anxiety, you can't just write, I am happy, right? Because you're not, so it's not gonna feel good. But you can say, every day I work towards being happier. I am working towards feeling better, feeling more joyful, and feeling happier. Right, so those are the steps that are next. I would say let's write at least three I am statements every single day. If there's something that is extremely pressing and it's a big issue in your life, I would just write the same statements over and over. You need to program that into your brain. You need to have that start to real through your brain and if you change them all the time you're not going to give it a solid opportunity to really plant in there and start to grow and bloom right so do the same ones every single day and now that is the second step in my uh, journey to feeling more joyful and happy through gratitude journaling and that is I am affirmations if you have any questions about this please let me know. If you are wondering what kind of I am statements and if you'd like to check in with me on some of them, you can comment below, you can private message me, um, call me, whatever it is that you need. If you wanna chat about where you're at right now and where you wanna be and learn some healthy verbiage for reprogramming that brain, please contact me, that's what I'm here for. And again, remember, I'm not a pro. I'm not, like I'm working on this every day just like you guys are. I have great days, I have so-so days, and every once in a while, I have a really crappy day, right? The majority of the time though, I'm very happy, and the reason is because most days I am waking up in the morning and programming my brain with really healthy, um, healthy thoughts, you know, making myself feel good from the first moment getting up, right? Not going on my Facebook first thing. I do not allow myself to open my phone and go on Facebook or Instagram or any social media when I first wake up. It is one of the worst things you can possibly do. Um, I will be posting a video down below by Dr. Joseph... Uh, Dispenza. He's amazing and he's all about reprogramming the brain and he teaches how how n those negative thoughts 
create your reality, right? So that's why it's so important that we change our thoughts. I thank you guys for watching my channel. Thank you for subscribing and hitting that bell. So every Sunday you can get the notification that I have a new video. I love doing this. I love teaching about journaling and how it's changed my life. And I have so much more to come. I wanna show you guys how I've hit some really big goals in my career, even in my relationship with my husband and children. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys next time.